The starting point for uh, most financial models is to estimate the revenues. This will largely depend on the business model you're trying to model. And to show you how it may differ, let's go through five examples. We're going to start with uh, consumer goods. So here, uh, the situation is uh, very simple. You have to have the quantity and simply the average price um, per one unit sold. Usually, we would do that by sales channels because the profitability of every sales channel will differ. So for example, here we've got uh, uh, traditional small stores and retail chains as two separate sales channels. We've got the quantity for them. Then we've got the average price and this enables us to calculate the sales uh, for the small stores and retail chains separately. Based on that, obviously we can do other calculations as well. Now let's look at a hotel. So here, again, we look at the quantity and uh, price of unit. The quantity is measured in number of nights sold. And this will, to a large extent, depend on how many rooms we've got, uh, whether we uh, have the sales uh, during the whole period. So in this case, it's years, so it's 360 days. Maybe uh, we exclude certain days and obviously so-called occupancy rate. So to what extent uh, we have sold out the available rooms. We can also disaggregate the average daily rate. So the price per one room per one night. And this will usually consist of the main charges and some additional charges. Now let's look at the uh, retail. So here the revenues we would um, calculate based on number of transaction and uh, the uh, average transaction value. Both of them you can further disaggregate. So the number of transactions will depend on how many people enter the source and the so-called conversion rate. So what percentage of them actually buy something. In some stores it can be 30, whereas in others it's 5%. Uh, we've got also big stores like uh, Home Improvement, where this can actually be close to 70-80%. And later on, obviously, based on sales, you can calculate um, other things. So gross margin uh, costs uh, and a bit. Uh, here we estimate uh, the revenues of one store. In a similar way, we would approach e-commerce. So we would have transactions and average transaction value. However, the difference will be how we estimate the number of transactions. Since we don't have uh, people entering the store, but rather people visiting our website, we look at the visits. Again, we've got the conversion rate. As you can see, it's usually much lower than in physical stores. So um, the good uh, e-commerce sites will have probably 15. Uh, four, it's probably the average, uh, but it can be as low as 1%. And final example we will look at is marketplace. There will be some similarities to the e-commerce. We first estimate visits. And after that, we estimate what is the value of the transaction um, done based on those visits on the market. So this is similar to revenues in uh, the e-commerce. Uh, however, since uh, the marketplace is the party which organizes the, the whole market, but it does not actually participate in the transactions, this value of transactions will be not the revenues of the marketplace. So we first estimate this uh, revenues of all the sellers doing transaction on the market. This is called usually gross market or merchandise value. This is based on number of transaction and average transaction value. And the revenues of the marketplace will be a certain share of this gross market. Usually it's around 10, 15%. Uh, for example, Amazon, depending on what you sell and what, um, what kind of services you use, it's around 15 to 20 something percent. The gross market, we obviously estimate in a similar way as we did um, in the case of the e-commerce. E so the transactions are based on visits and conversion rate. So that's in short. As you can see, your approach to revenues will differ and it will largely be linked to the business model. In the description, I will attach uh, a link to this file so you can have a look at that. And you can actually see what we do further with uh, the information on the revenues. Make also sure to check um, our other videos on uh, financial modeling and uh, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.